my name is Abby Defeen and I'm a Drexel graduate from 2012, getting my Master's in Nutrition. Hi, I'm Kiana Richardson. I'm a Drexel grad, class of 2011. And I am Drexel grad, same major, same department, class of 2005. And we're here to tell you how, how to, to read, read a food, food label. label. When you read a food label, you first want to start in the very beginning at the top. Here you'll find the serving sizes. Make sure that what you're eating is just one serving size, or that you are aware of how many come in the package. After you realize how much is in a serving, you want to see how many calories are in each serving that you are consuming. In general, you want to keep these calories below 400 calories. So you also want to pay attention to the fat content. 5% is considered low when you want to keep your, um, fat, your calories from fat as low as possible. And then finally we talk about the, the nutrients that are better for you. So you want to aim for greater than 20% in these categories here. So total uh, carbohydrate, dietary fiber, which is important. You want to have a high amount of fiber in your diet, which will help alleviate maybe some chronic diseases such as heart disease, hypertension, and also um, some cancers. Another thing you want to aim for greater than 20% for overall health are these nutrients down here. Vitamin A, we have calcium, vitamin C, and iron. And those are all indicated on the food label. So reading the food label can guide you in making better decisions according to the amount of calories in the product you're consuming, understanding what serving size is, and aiming for low percentages in the nutrients which can be harmful and higher percentages in the nutrients that can be helpful to overall good health and nutrition. Thank you.